Hello and welcome to Cox Local Edition on HLN. I'm Catherine Falk with Cox Communications. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so honored to have Congressman Wolf, Frank Wolf join us from the 10th District. You're in your 15th term. Tell us about where the 10th District is. Well, it's basically McLean, Great Falls, uh, all of Loudoun County, then Clark County and uh, Winchester and Fred Frederick County. So it goes from basically McLean uh, to the West Virginia line. Wow, large district. L wonderful district, beautiful district. Very, very historic. And lots of agriculture as lots well as technology. Lots of agriculture, lots of winery, lots of technology. Just a good place. George Washington's first elective office was in our congressional district. He was elected to the House of Delegates from Winchester. Oh, great history, great history. Terrific. Um, I know that you um, serve on a couple of very important committees as well. Uh, we, I serve on the Appropriations Committee. One deals with all the sciences and things like that. The other deals with transportation. Great. And transportation is what we want to talk about today. So everyone in your district is, is uh, affected by transportation and the, the growth in the area. So tell us about, let's start with, uh, with Metro and then Metro Extension and Dulles Rail. What's the latest on that? There's been a little, lot of controversy that's about that. a costs. lot of controversy. We need to bring rail to, to Dulles. I've worked hard for doing that over the years. It's been a, every governor has said it's a priority, but now we have the airport authority that wants to inflate the cost of that project by building that station underground when it could be above ground, just by lower, doing that change saves $404 million. So what we want to do is to get them to bring the cost down to $2.5 as they said it would, would be, so we can lower uh, the tolls. But we're, at, we're coming to a crunch point. The airport authority, quite frankly, is out of control. It just is adding bells and whistles onto that project that are not needed, also wants to have a project labor agreement mandating that the cost will escalate. So that's the big issue on the rail. We want to bring rail to Delta, but we want to drive those costs down. So by doing that, we can keep the tolls down. And, and the tolls could go up dramatically if they have their way, right? With this airport authority, you know what the tolls will be in 2018, 2019? $10.75 each way every day. That's, that's impossible. Absolutely. I know you've also been working on another toll issue, which is distance tolling. Well, we're trying to get the Greenway in the state of Virginia to have distance pricing on the Greenway. If you go on the New Jersey Turnpike, go over the Delaware Memorial Bridge, get on the New Jersey Turnpike, go 82 miles to the Garden State Parkway, you pay $4.25. If you get on the Greenway at Route 28 and go to 1.1 mile, 1.1, you pay $4.50. It's crazy. Now, they've driven all the trucks off the road. The trucks are now cutting through neighborhoods, dump trucks. Luxstone won't use the road anymore. FedEx won't use the road. You're, so you're destroying neighborhoods. You're, Route 7 is a Category F. You can't move. And so we need distance pricing. And uh, to the credit of the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors, they have now advocated. I have joined them. But it is time that we get distance pricing on the Greenway. And I know another big issue for you has been telecommuting. You've done so much to promote that. Well, I think a lot of people are now doing it. We have language in that's passed is law, giving federal employees the opportunity to telework. Most of the private sector are now doing telework. I mean, there's nothing magic about strapping yourself into a metal box and driving 60 miles as if before a computer when you can do it very close to where you live. And, and hopefully that will ha help the transportation. That will well. help the transportation, yeah. but we should also bring rail to Dulles at the lowest possible cost and have distance pricing on the Greenway. That's great. I know a lot of this information is on your website. It is. We very much appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for joining us on Cox Local Edition on HLN. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and have a great day.